Today we're doing another episode of Studios Undone. It's been a while since I made one of these for obvious reasons with everything going on in the world. Now while I'm still not comfortable enough to travel internationally for these, I figured since the numbers here in Canada have improved dramatically, it's probably an okay time to start touring some of my more local Canadian creator studios. And to make the series return even more challenging, we're bringing you a twofer because today's featured creators share a studio and a life together. I'm of course talking about the infectiously fun-loving, multi-talented, savvy, stylish, and unrelentingly kind creators that are Chris Howe and Lizzie Pierce. Are you Robin or am I Batman? I'm Batman. You're Robin. Let's get undone. What's happening, everybody? I'm Gerald Undone, and I grade in G Log. All right, let's give Chris and Lizzie a call. Okay, it's taken forever for us to organize our schedules, to sit down and do this video. It's probably the biggest news ever we've had to announce, and we're finally doing it today, okay? So brace yourselves. This is oh, yeah. big. Shh. Phone call. Oh my god, it's Gerald. It's just Gerald. What, Ger what do you mean? What's that reaction? His hair is fantastic. His hair is fine. His, his hair? You would say that. You basically copied him. Okay, answer the phone. Okay. Hey, hey, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, so I saw that your studio's finished now. Are you guys ready to have me come tour it? We're kind of in the middle. You should just come, like, right now. Okay, well, you're not too far away, so I could come today if you're available. Yeah, no, uh, we're like totally ready. Everything's clean and uh, nothing else important going on. Nothing important. Okay, you guys are just in Mimico, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, <laughs> I have an idea. Give me about 15 minutes. Hey, that's a... Uh, Zipline. That's a lot of harnesses. You, you could just take the streetcar, you know. I always pegged you for a guy that liked a lot of straps. But anyways, come on in. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and Gerald, this is the uh, the studio. I'm just gonna find a spot for your zip lining gear. You do realize that the zip lining thing was just stock footage, right? <gasps> so that that's not a real zip line helmet? No, because... Oh my God, I've been fooled. Because this video is brought to you by Storyblocks. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you could really use some st stock footage, but shooting yourself would either be logistically unfeasible or budgetarily impossible? <laughs> well, what are your thoughts? Well, Storyblocks has you covered with an impressive collection of stock footage covering a wide range of subjects with unlimited downloads and 4K video. They're also amply supplied with backgrounds, overlays, and After Effects templates. An interface is easy to use and clean. I'm trying to make your shot moodier. And the interface is clean and easy to use and navigate, and the clips are royalty free for both personal and commercial use, so you can use them as much as you want, wherever you want. So if you think you could take advantage of a fantastic library of quality stock footage and effects, what? check out Storyblocks using the link in the description below. So we should get started on the tour, but yeah. I don't understand how we got here. A, a minute ago, we remember when I was like spraying the, uh -huh. the thing, you passed out, and then I passed out because- But Lizzie was in, was in this chair. chair. You were in this chair. I was in that chair. Yeah, and it's you woke up chair, in a right? daze, and you like ripped her out, and then you were like, my chair now. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Well, either way, should we start the tour? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's start with Lizzie's set. Okay. Cool. Turn on Lizzie's backdrop. That's the backdrop. 
and I've got a couple of bulbs that I really just picked up from Home Depot and they're vintage bulbs and they add a little bit of extra flair to the background including a little bit of a warm hair light which I like. Turn on neon. That's also our neon sign which adds a little bit of flair to the background as well. It also has a motivational quote which is very important in coming into the office every day. <laughs> this is the 120D Mark II, so this is my key light and I've got a honeycomb on it right now and this is my setup. So I'm shooting on the A7 III right now. I've got the 35 millimeter F1.4 just because I feel like it adds some beautiful depth to this background and there there actually isn't a lot of depth. The background is right there. So it, it helps add a little bit more, you know what I mean? This this mic up here is the NTG3 and we actually have it just clamped to the desk. Again, it's very important to keep everything off the floor. The only thing that you skipped over is you don't have any yeah. purple light in oh, the shot. Oh, so right. So we have to find yeah. a way to incorporate that. Okay. <laughs> Think what maybe underneath. Yeah, underneath. You know, what if I just... Yeah, that's good lighting. I can hold it on my lap. Nice. Yeah. Okay, stop playing with that light, Lindsay. Oh, okay. All right, so walk us through. You already did. You said mic, the, the light and everything. Yeah. Yep. Talked about all that. Uh -huh. Hey. Okay, this is something. You got a PC. Yeah. And I feel like I've noticed that, we won't cut to Chris because he's busy, but I feel like Chris is on PC too. We remember? have the exact same setup, yeah. Exactly. Are you much of a computer nerd? Like can you, do you know what's in your rig at all? Uh, a little bit. So we've got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX You're just reading the screen. Ti. <laughs> no, I did a video about okay. this, I haven't memorized. Do you but have one of your of like hairs in here? Oh, it's a spider web. <laughs> you literally have a spider web. Oh my inside. God, I actually do. Let's talk about the backdrop a little bit. So you have a whole video on this. Yep. But uh, tell me about some of the things, if there's things that are like important to you or whatever. So obviously there's camera gear. I mean, that's kind of yeah. obvious, right? I see so, there's globes. What's with the globes? Uh, travel is a big theme in our lives and things that are that we constantly want reminders of. So pretty much everything in, well, most of the things in the background are things that I wanted to either, you know, be handy to grab like lenses or things that would reinforce my confidence coming into the office every day. Why the letter E? Uh, my full name is Elizabeth. My first name's Elizabeth, not Lizzie. So what else about your channel is a lie? What else about my channel is a lie? Because clearly your my, name. <laughs> my first name, it, my first legal name isn't even Elizabeth. No? no. Oh, okay, so we're doubling down on <laughs> the lie. Just, do we get so that? Can we roll back on that? <laughs> Uh, my full name is Elizabeth. My first name's Elizabeth. My name's actually Elizabeth. No, yeah. we go later. Okay, so my name's not actually Elizabeth. My middle name's Elizabeth. We got lenses? Yes. 90 millimeter macro? 90 millimeter macro I was using the other day. Yeah. So that's why that's out. Um, and then I have the 24 to 70 and the 16 to 35. All the other ones we pretty much keep in Chris's area because he's got a bigger does shelf it, Does it make him feel better to have all the lenses? That too. It's like part of his backdrop. I can't take that away from him. And these are the ones that we have doubles of because okay. they're kind of our workhorses. Sure. So we're when we're traveling, it's a lot easier to have zoom lenses. You get a lot of different focal lengths in there. So if you couldn't use zoom lenses and you had to choose a prime lens, what focal length would you go with? What's your favorite focal length? My favorite would probably be 35. Which is what you were shooting. Which is what I was shooting on. For people who may be thinking about getting a studio, is it all upside or have you ever felt an obstacle rather than uh, like to have to have to go to the studio or like just tell say me tell me about I'd that. Say, I'd say it's less. So yes, it, it, it does come up, but it's less frequent. So like at home previously we would turn our studio or would turn our home into a studio during the day and then at night we'd tear it all down. And the next morning you'd have to do it all over again. So like that's setting up tripods, lights, getting everything. And and now that all this stuff is set up at the studio, it's easier for me to be like, all right, let's not let this creative momentum go if I want to just rip over there and like, let's do it in 15 minutes, right? So it's actually easier to go to the studio than it is to set up. Exactly. And it's less monotonous probably too, because exactly. that can be draining. Have you noticed anything, Lizzie, in, in that at all? Do you, do you fall victim to the same thing where it, it, like you, if it's fleeting yeah. and you need to be able to get in on it when it's... For sure. Yeah. And But I think traveling here is like when you're in the studio, you're in that mindset and you're in the space where it's yeah, like I'm now, I'm, now I'm supposed to do this and your brain kind of turns whatever that is on. Yep. But I do have... You definitely have times when you're at home and you get the idea and the whole vision for whatever it is you're going to make. And usually that happens when you're relaxed. And I mean, scientifically, they've proven this like when you're in the shower, when you're doing laundry, when you're doing all of those like repetitive, monotonous tasks is when you get your best ideas and they're so complete and they're not hard for you to have that creative epiphany. Yeah. Um, 
so then normally we write it down we wouldn't shoot yeah. it right away because usually I would say that's just the idea. It's like, the, that's what I was saying earlier, like but conceptually. I, conceptually, yeah. yeah. And I psych myself up coming to the office to shoot or yeah. to be on camera and having that time to get ready, I actually prefer. This is just like portable chargers. Close These... enough, nobody wants to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love filters. But Chris, okay. Chris picked these up, I think off of like Facebook Marketplace or something yeah. because this place was actually a bowling alley. Oh, that's so fine. So you see, integrate We're trying a to play bit. on yeah, those yeah. lines so you can actually see in the floor where the lanes were. Yeah, I can. Yeah, but it gives it like that studio kind of production sure. vibe. Sure, so that's yeah. why I was taking the pen out. Don't care. This is just what whatever was left over and we placed it so it kind of looked aesthetic. <laughs> like there's no story. It, was it doesn't stuff. say anything about yeah. us. We stole <laughs> these things from my dad's office yeah. and then we thought they would look cool in here and now they're just on this to die, I think. At first glance, yeah. I think it works. Yeah, you know, no, it's totally. like, oh, you got a real, yeah, that's for sure. Fine. And then when you look at it a little closer, you're like, wait, what? what is going on here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about the 120D Mark yep. II. You said that you were using it on V-mount. And yep. is that just because you don't want to monkey it's with cords? Pretty much. And I mean, our office is a good size, but it's not huge. And we're maneuvering around this table. So sure. because it's got wheels, we can roll it around easily with the V-mount. Nice table, by the way. But thank you. Shot of that. Thank you. Our lunch table, our meeting table, our flat lay table, our <laughs> everything table. Is it smooth? Uh, pretty good, yeah. pretty good. It's getting some scratches in it because it's been well loved. Do you find that you can run on a battery for the duration of your, your YouTube video? Like how long do you usually record for? Uh, if I'm doing my talking head stuff, it'll take like 30 minutes, like no more than an hour and ever. That'll work for that? That'll work yeah. for that. Um, if I was shooting all day in here at some point, yeah, it would die and then I would plug it in. Um, but because actually the Foley desks are great because they have plugs right here, so I don't have to bend down and look for one in the wall. Yeah, that's smart. So, yeah. And then you can even keep, I guess, the cable managed and just kind of It's like, not bad, yeah. yeah. It's not bad, so. Rolling C-stand. Mm -hmm. Chris did the studio tour and called this the the uh, re-energization station or whatever it was. I've refuel maybe? Something like that. Something what was like it that? called, Chris? The fuel station. Fuel station. Fuel station. So it's coffee. Here's the fuel. It's a coffee counter, basically, with basically, Red Bull. Basically, coffee and snacks, <laughs> yeah. and then a microwave if you want to reheat some food. Nice. Kept it simple, but yeah, it's pretty much like, and then another source of caffeine, Red Bull. And the mirror, is that to make sure you, when you go on camera that you, exactly. you look normal? Okay. Exactly. And we found it pretty cheap. I think it was only like 20 bucks and makes the room seem bigger. Yep. But yeah. You want to talk about your, your nook? Get sure. out of the shot, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what are you using here? Is this that Rogue Roadcaster Caster Pro? Pro yeah. yeah, it's pretty good for podcasting, right? Like it's Honestly, we love it. We really don't need to do much editing afterwards. You got sound treatment in this area. But I think yeah. overall, let's give it the old clap. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I didn't find that it was problematic over there either, but you guys are doing one thing right, which is that you have a lot of stuff. It doesn't, I'm not saying it looks cluttered or anything, it looks great, mm -hmm. but there you have a lot of stuff everywhere. You have stuff on the yeah. walls, you have stuff on the floor, you've got big objects yeah. or whatever. Some of them are reflective surfaces, but for the most part, I think that it's... It's not that. It's not that lively in here, it's pretty good. Cool. And the cat will also absorb, you know, yeah, some the of the fur. acoustic energy, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> are you done working now, Chris? I'm done. I'm okay. done. Done. Do you got anything to add to what to I'm our done conversation? Or done, done. Yeah. Okay. So I, I thought you were gonna like definitely point out that we just have like a random XLR on the ground there. I just because I just don't figured, point it out. I just figured he would he would point these things shh, out. Shh. He was gonna mention when we do voiceovers, we usually sit in this chair okay. and we'll put. He's left me. We put a okay. sound blanket around the egg and we clamp it to the egg chair and. That wasn't the reason we got the egg chair, it's just a happy coincidence. So you're in the egg you're as like a little sound booth? As a little sound booth. So we'll like clamp that so there's no reflections. And then sometimes we'll grab like a C stand. So we'll literally just like go and like this, grab sound another blanket. sound blanket, put it in front, but we won't do that for the sake of this video. And then you can like <laughs> back and bring the mic right in here. And yeah. Nice. And then we use a, a Neumann TLM. <laughs> A Neumann TLM 103, which is actually good like mic. a really, really good mic for voiceovers, but specifically Lizzie's voice. And Lizzie's like the queen of amazing voiceovers. She like nails it every time and does it in like two takes. So what we do is we run this XLR, which is... That's oh, why it's down there. Why it's down there. We plug it in here and then that runs uh, over to our computer so that we can do voiceovers and bring them right in. Speaking that we're sitting here and we're talking in your little voiceover nook, 
you are in my voiceover nook. Exactly. It's exactly where you're sitting. You do a lot of voiceovers yes. on, on your videos. Yeah. What's that all about? It's a good question. I think because it became a way for me to share some of my writing. And I think saying it to camera just felt kind of odd. And it's a little easier to hear someone's voice and hear the emotion in their voice when you don't see them and it can be accompanied by different visuals and things like that but mainly it was yeah just to share some of my writing i think it makes perfect sense though i watched a video of yours recently like probably in the last week or two where it was like a poem yeah. voiceover right and i i you're absolutely right i didn't think of it what would the alternative be that you're sitting in front of the camera just saying mm -hmm. it to the camera It'd be weirder right it yeah. wouldn't make any sense what i'm writing about isn't always about me so then when i'm faceless I feel like more people yeah, can that identify makes with it. Sense. That's a good answer. Yeah. So tell me about what's going on here. Your bins are labeled. Yep. Are they? Are you following along correctly with your label? I would say everything's <laughs> like pretty close. I think the only confusion that we have is lighting and power because sometimes cables for lighting look like power cables. Well, and sometimes it's power for the lighting, and then you're like, I don't know which one. Yeah, which but other with? than that, everything is more or less labeled off, and that's one. That's the audio stuff we use all the time, yeah. and then we have another audio kit up here, which is just for like special occasions. What's special? What are you special? I know. Well, like, audio? <laughs> birthdays, uh, Easter audio yeah. stuff. <laughs> Just like like multiple labs. Like we don't need to have like yeah. extra labs lying around and like little glue things to put it underneath in between the, sure. the breastplate. I see you have some backdrops that you got a couple here, you had a couple there. Yep. Do you use that in here often or is that for something else? I use the black one a yeah. lot. And now I usually set that up on two C stands. The blue ones are just kind of like to add color just to like, so there's something else in the space. But yeah. you never know. There's like, we also have these like other more textured backdrops that they're more like flat lay so this is good for like flat lays and close-ups and things like that or if I you're was doing using like this the other day. thumbnails i was using this the other day for macro photography though it's like a small backdrop yeah so we have like a variety and like when people see this they'll be like why would you put fake wood that like literally looks like fake wood but when you see it on a photo and you know sure. get the feel that looks you jack like real up the wood. clarity so the texture comes yeah. out of totally and they actually look legit and, and they're like two sides so you got a lot of different backdrops that we can use for thumbnails and, and you can take like elementary school portraits. If yes, you want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they're a lot easier. And to you have store. to sit like this. <laughs> What's this just hanging randomly on the wall with the hood? <laughs> so the the reason why this random shelf is here is because I was shooting a thumbnail and I was trying to like, it was off it in terms empty. of exposure and it looked empty because I was shooting this way. So I literally put a fake camera here. So this is I just haven't torn this down since I shot the studio tour thumbnail. We don't okay. know really what to do yeah. with it. Now. So you thought that this would be appropriate for when I came? Totally, okay. yes. We thought it looked better. I was like, I think he really wants an empty shelf hanging <laughs> on a thumbtack. You, thumb you thought I wasn't going to talk yeah, yeah. about this? <laughs> it's funny, as I walked by today, I knocked it. I was like, he's going to say something. I know. <laughs> uh, there's just like, again, random. So it's just, you have all these knickknacks. I was putting random yeah. on a box going to tell you what's in it. Yeah, it's just, I, you know what? That's Lucas. That's no <laughs> label yeah. is the same as that label. That's like when you put random on your desktop and you just shove everything in That's there. That's what they did. Shh. Yeah. You could have just put a label that says disorganized. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes I come in here because all of our data is accessible by this computer in, a, in like a really quick way. So we do have like a is NAS. Is this your like, like dump computer dump or whatever? everything. Yeah. Anything that I've ever worked on can be found here. So sometimes if I'm like, oh, I want to go back to like that trip when we went to the Philippines and like edit some photos for Instagram, I'll usually jump on here or I'll like find the photos and then throw them on like an SSD. And if you came in with a bunch of footage, is yep. this where you go to this, offload? This yeah. is like main area. Battery station on the wall? Yeah, battery station. This was, um, this was all Lucas. I was like, I really need, a, like we need a battery station. I want this at some point. Clean, it's tidy, it's Thank good. You. What do you got in the little drawers there? Uh, basically anything that's like a knickknack for certain things. So you got different like mounting options. Put that away. Close the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got micro SDs or regular SDs. What lenses you got? Uh, we got 12 to 20, 24 uh, f4. I don't find myself using that lens a lot. 70 to 200. It's pretty good. Uh, I've been trying to use it a little bit more in the last little while. 100 to 400. Like I don't know what it is about that lens. Love it. Yeah. Use it for photography all the time. 50 mil. Don't find myself using this prime as much as I would like. 35 mil is definitely like more of a go-to and the 24. Yep. 85 G Master is awesome. Love this lens. It's too heavy, so I don't love like carrying it around, but it's worth busting it out. And the 24 mil F1.4 G Master lens. It's a great lens too. It's probably my favorite lens. I even have like a tattoo that says 24 millimeter. So the question I asked Lizzie earlier, if yeah. you weren't zooming, yeah. you'd go 24. 24, 100%. It's on your arm, you can't. Yeah, yeah it's, you can't it's literally that. tattooed on my arm. I have a moon tattoo. No okay. one cares. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> you talked about your favorite lens, I talked about the moon. You didn't even mention that your company's called the Luna Media. Oh. She's like, let me show you my foot, not tell you about my production company. I like moons. <laughs> yeah. I like moons. <laughs> but yeah, Lizzie has a production company. We. Uh, this is an interesting fact of our dynamic, which might be something that your fans would be into. We have three production companies. Oh my god. I'm over it. So one is Luna. Oh, Luna, yeah. And then Know How or whatever? Yeah, the, the know, how, and know How Media, sorry, yeah, Know How Media Inc. And then, our, this is where it gets confusing, our shared company is called Know How Media Operations, Operations Inc. Mm. Yeah, you should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> and then this camera's all like urban camo or whatever? Yeah, we this is uh, <laughs> another YouTube video. Um, I just- uh, you like I dipping just, or what is it? Uh, no, this is just like little like, I think it's called like alpha skins or something like okay. that. Just trying to change it up. I have some that I might throw on like these lenses as well. Uh, just again, just something that looks what different. What I would do if you're going to do it on these lenses yep. is don't. Oh. Uh, that's that's what I'd recommend for that. Cool. I can point things out and you tell me if it's interesting or not. Like, sure. Technically, I, I don't like I work off of a laptop. So, so Lizzie, not, why don't we yeah. talk a little bit more about? <laughs> this is the worst way to meet somebody for the first time. You're like, I'm purposely going to be rude to you for like hours on end. <laughs> uh, cool. So what we should do, I think, is we should set up your shot. That's it. And so we can. Uh, See if it's better. I don't know why this is a competition. Yeah. Like, leave your votes. Who won? Yeah. Or whatever, I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> They're both good in their own way, that but mine's, mine's better. better. Exactly. <laughs> we should award the real winner of the of the studio tour with the coveted purple star. Well, she's sleeping. Good job, Luna. Yeah. There you go. Turn on the shelf. All right, let's get that key up. This is my shot right here. So we have hair light up there. It's just like one of those small little portable lights with the diffusion on it. We have two separate lights to fill out the blue in this frame. And then we're lit up with a shelf with just some basic LEDs that I got out of, that we got off of Amazon. And then I make sure that all of that is blue. And then we have a 120D Mark II as my key light kind of placed in front of me to fill it all out. I like this light because it actually lights up the keyboard here. Just one of those like little accent piece that looks really nice. Uh, in terms of my shooting setup, I like using a 16 to 35 G master lens. I like shooting sometimes like super wide like this. Generally it ends up being around 24 mil when I am shooting, but sometimes I like to go with a wider perspective because what I find with YouTube is that the like, closer you can get to the lens, the more like intimate that relationship is with like the viewer. And it feels very like YouTubery, very vloggy. So I like having the option to be like, all right, let's go to 16 mil. So I usually don't like shooting on primes. I like shooting on zooms, specifically 16 to 35 F 2.8. Uh, in terms of audio, we're using the same audio as Lizzie. So we have the NTG on a Rode uh, PSA1 boom arm. Sorry if the audio sounds a little weird there while I'm moving it around, but it gives us a lot of flexibility. I'm sure this is now in the shot too. Uh, and then that's going into the XLR K2M, which is like the older XLR unit that connects to the camera. Now we are shooting on a Sony camera, the A7R3. And that is my setup. Tour is complete. Good. <laughs> I've tabulated your score here. Good news is, okay. are you settled down? No. Okay. That a, hurts. A tiny chair. <laughs> the good news is, you have passed. Here is your final score. That's for your records. You know, feel free to keep that and frame it if you'd like. Um, Just so everybody knows what this is. You don't, you don't this he didn't actually do any. This is a Cosmo quiz. Let's get it done. It's not an ASMR intro. ASMR, he didn't say that. He said, say the line. He said, say the line. Go away. Just kidding. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Go follow another kitty named Dan Damn it. <laughs> and I'll have a little clicker that I can press the button and I'll just do it for fun. Turn on Lizzie's backdrop. So, is this your workstation? Yeah. And did you choose these speakers? Yeah, you put it on an arm. Okay, I'm, I'm not interested in that. I mean, like, yeah, nobody else can fit under there, so. Wow, well, my nose is hooking to the side and my jaw yeah. is weird, I don't know. Will you <laughs> I have big feet, so that's an <laughs> that's issue. That's what I've learned. <laughs> can you do it again? I didn't get you. 
But that's gonna be it for me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, make sure you leave it the old thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. But if you did not find this video helpful or- to find your grocer wherever you live and ask them to stop stalking your favorite snack. You don't want that. Yeah. You like that snack. Yeah. You don't want it to be out of stock. You're gonna walk in and be like, where's my snack? And they'll be like, we don't have it anymore. Yeah. And be like, it's because of me and Lizzie. Ruin your and, life. And Gerald. Ruin your life. Just say, we're done after I say all right. We're done. We're done. No, I'll say all right. We're done. <laughs> I'll say all right. We're done. Okay, we're, we're, we're done. We're, we're done. done here. Who says all right again?